Dude4786, I have autism. Hey, what's up, you all? I'm Dude4786, I have autism here, and I'm hitting you all up once again with another video, and I also am going to be announcing something today in this video. So, as of this point, as I'm recording, this channel is at 90 three subscribers that really beat the expectations that I had for this channel I didn't think that this channel would reach even close to 90 I don't know I didn't think this channel would actually be at 90 until like 2022 or or the late December but as of this point it's as I'm recording it is October and you know I just want to announce that I'm, I'm happy to announce that this channel has reached the goal that I you know thought that it, w it wouldn't reach <laughs> but I'm glad it did I mean come on we're like as of this point this channel is seven digits away from triple digits and as I'm recording, it is October 10th, so you may be watching this video a little little bit later. You may be viewing this video, I don't know when, but um, because my internet is not necessarily the best, when I upload a video like this, it usually takes a couple of hours or so, it may take an hour or two, whatever, it may not upload right away. Um, you may not even see it the day of, of, of me recording usually my videos don't come out to like either hours later or the next day so yeah so yes this channel has reached 93 subscribers as of this point and I gotta say being in the not the 90s and being just very close to that triple digit mark it's it's we're living a moment in my YouTube life that I had on my other channel my which is now my official let's play channel I remember the first time over three years ago that my my other channel reached 100 subscribers and once again I'm gonna thank all of you all like I did like I did on my other channel three years ago I'm gonna think you know this is you know basically just a vlogging channel um, over 90% of it is just vlogging and there are some little bits of let's plays I do here and there which I've announced that I'll be doing let's plays every Wednesday on this channel and that every month a let's play will come out on my on my let's play other channel my which is no my yeah a let's play will be coming up every month on my let's play channel this is become my everything channel now here my other channel is now just a let's play channel I have a let's play on that channel that's being uploaded as of this point as I'm speaking and it's a non commentary let's play of the gameplay you see here Um, I'm not going to be. I'm going to be doing a, a, some com, some non-commentary let's plays on my other channel because, like I said, my other channel is become a semi, is somewhat of a little bit of a dead channel. Not completely. I still want to keep that channel alive. I don't want people who are up there to feel sad and miss me and all that. I want them to know that this that channel is still going to be alive. But I'm gonna. I'm not going to be uploading as much. Not. I'm not going to be uploading as much on that channel as I do here. I'm going to be doing a lot more on this channel. So you'll be seeing Let's Plays come up on the, the other channel like every month. You might see one or two. And uh, I might do a little commentary here and there.
Wow. I gotta say, bro. Yo. I gotta say. I am... I, I mean, this, this would not have been possible without all of you who have, you know... Watch my who watch my content, who are subscribed to my channel, and those of you who are who are still subscribed to my channel, thank you all so much for that. I know it's been a rough uh couple, it's been a rough week or two for me, and I've talked about in my previous video why that is. Um, it's been I mean this last uh weeks these last weeks or two has been kind of rough emotionally and I feel like this channel getting where it's at right now has really helped me out a lot um, I did have a falling out with a friend that I had known online we never met in person so I guess it's it's not I mean it's not that bad in my opinion but we've been friends for like 17 months and this person was a was a loyal fan and subscriber until we had a little falling out and that that falling out was due to the fact that I had an opinion on my friend's opinion and he said that he didn't like a lot of my videos because they were some of, some of them were too dark and gloomy for him and a lot of you you know didn't see the uh, negative sides of y'all didn't see it all as negative for those of you who saw you know the good in this video true I felt like you all truly had a good understanding and good concept and you know in my opinion you all are very you know very are just uh, you're just bright and you're unique in your own way and even though my, this person who un, who unfriended me and is no longer a supporter of me I still wish him the best he's a good he's a good he's a good kid but I think that he's just naive and he doesn't understand he thinks that everything has to be all sunshine and rainbows he doesn't understand that sometimes in life people have to hear hear the things that you know that are not so so happy jolly he's just a very sensitive person and because like him because like me he has high functioning autism he's just well he he's a little more sensitive to certain things than I am and he had give his opinion that you know I don't you know your videos are dark and gloomy and that blah 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 so I gave my opinion in response to his opinion so he gave his opinion on me and I gave my opinion on him on him or giving an opinion on me and he said my videos were too uh, dark and gloomy and I said and I gave and I talked about you know if I all I said was that somebody thought that my videos were too dark and gloomy and I said if they don't like it they don't have to watch it that's all I said and I said I don't give a shit. And I said what? And I said you know, if if you don't like my videos, that's your problem, not mine. And that's all I did. That's all I said. I didn't say anything bad about him. All I said is that that whatever problem he has with my channel is his problem. I just just said I just made I just said that was his problem, and he took it as a he said he's he looked at it as a sense of betrayal he he feels like that I betrayed him because just because I simply gave my opinion on him giving an opinion of me because he had an opinion of on my video I just gave my opinion on him giving an opinion about me and I said you know it's his if he doesn't like my videos then that's his problem that's all I said and that's why he unfriended me. That's why he wanted nothing to do with me. That's why he's saying that he's gonna stay far away from my channel. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. If that, if this is the, if I, this is, if this is what I gotta go through just to be your friend. If I have to feel like walking on freaking eggshells just because you're, 
you're a, you're being a bit of a softy in my opinion, then why would I want to be your friend? You, you, I've, I said you had a choice, and I went on my channel, and I gave my opinion, and you didn't like it, and that's what it was. That's that's what I said to him. I said to him, you didn't. I'm not. When I say you, I'm not talking to you all. I'm just saying I'm referring to him when I when I say you not you you but you know what I mean I said if if he doesn't like my videos then that's his problem and like I said I'm not forcing any of you all to watch my videos you all have a choice he made his choice and he chose to not watch my videos that's fine I'm, I'm cool with that, you know, no whatever, no big deal, no sweat, but here's the thing, he unfriends me and, and just bashes on me like I'm the bad person in this scenario, it doesn't make any sense to me, all because I made an opinion on him and he feels betrayed. I never said anything derogatory about him. I never said anything derogatory about him in my videos. All I said is that whatever problem he has with my videos is his problem. That's all. And I'm right. And I'm politically correct. There's nothing wrong about what I said. I'm, I'm correct and I know I am. Because it's his problem. His problems are his problem. Your problems are your problems. My problems are my problems. Simple as that. But he wants to go and make things complicated. And, you know, you figure being online friends for 17 months. My mom told me that people who are, who, that you don't meet in person are not really your friend until they get to meet you. You don't really know who somebody is until you meet them in person. Like, you can you can talk to me. I could talk to one of my subscribers and have a FaceTiming chat. Does that mean they're my friends? I can label them as my friends, but they're not. It's not the same as meeting somebody in person. You don't know who they where people really are. On YouTube, when I make a video, you're I'm only letting you see what I want you to see. You don't know anything about me. Because you don't know how, and you don't know, well, that's not your fault. It's just, that's just the way things work. Because think about it. I don't record every single second and every minute of my life. I do record a lot, I will admit, but not every single second or every single minute of my life. There are a lot of things that go on, you know, off of YouTube that you don't know about me. There's a lot of things that go on in my life that you don't know about. And I'm only letting you see and hear what you want that you that what I want you to hear. I'm only letting you see and hear what you want to that not what you want to, but what I want you to hear. And there's just a, like I said, there's a lot of things that you don't get to see or hear about that happen off of YouTube. But if you knew me in person, it, you'll know that there's a big difference. If you were to hang around me every single sec, if you were to hang around me as much as people the people I work with and those who I'm friends with you would see me in a different light maybe maybe you may not you may I'm maybe you'll come to find that I'm not worth a darn that I ain't worth shit maybe you think I'm this awesome person but once you get to know me in person you'll be like yeah whatever this dude huh you may not think so much of me you may or you may think even more highly of me you may even appreciate me even more so it, it can work both ways either when you get to know somebody off of social media and on the on social media you either see them as more more awesome or you know not as as you know exciting because at the end of the day just like you, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm just a regular person, you know. I'm just an ordinary person. 
Some of you may not view yourselves as regular. Some of you may have things going on that differ from us people. But at the end of the day, we're, we all are living. We're all viewed as, I view my, ourselves as living creatures of this planet. And that no matter the pigment of your skin or whatever color, who you are, whatever, even if you're an alien from outer space and you're watching this, and if you understand what I'm saying, that we're here and uh, we're living, we, we live, we breathe, and we we do what we what's necessary to survive. Now I'm more talkative on YouTube than I am in real life. In real life, I'm actually very quiet. I don't go out to, up to people and start talking the way I do. People would get tired. I think there people would get tired of listening to my, listening to me or dealing with me if I were to have talked as much as I do on YouTube. I'm more um, talkative on YouTube than I am in real life. In real life, I don't really initiate conversation all that much and you know subconsciously I think it's just due to my anxiety you know on a subconscious it's become a subconscious thing I just you know it's just what, what I do but I do talk I especially talk a lot more to around you know when I'm at home at work I'm not very I don't really talk all that much I'm very quiet and kept to myself I mean, I have a different attitude. Like, and I think that's just normal. People have a different attitude when they're at work than when they're at home. Because at home with your family, you're more comfortable, so you're going to be more comfortable talking about things and opening up about things. And you're going to talk. You're going to talk about things that you normally wouldn't talk about at work. And that's just normal. That's just being a regular. In my opinion, that's just being a, a human. That's just being human, or whatever. That's just the way it is. But yeah, I also want to like think. Um, one of my shift managers had bought me some sushi. And I want to thank, and I want to thank her so much for that. Like, I, I mean, she bought me some sushi from Food Line, and I have to thank her so much for that because she she kept it at the right temperature. It was really good, and this she that was it. That was like so awesome of her to do that. Like, I was not expecting that, and I got to give her a thank you. So, if you're what whoever you are, I know she she what she just, she's aware of my YouTube channel too. I told her about it. She and um she's known about it for quite some time now and so if she is watching this you know who you are i'm not you know i don't mention people's real names unless you want me to i can actually mention your name but i need your permission but you know who you are you bought me that sushi and uh thank you very much i know i've already thanked you a lot and you're probably going to get tired of me saying thank you but yeah <laughs> thank you and uh, yeah, I've already did because I did a food review on that, and it just and I it was just it just brought back a good time, good old memories there. Anywho, um, for those of you who supported my channel, who stay supportive, who even those of you off of YouTube who know me in real life, who are probably still subscribed to my channel, because I have people who know me in real life who are subscribed to my channel. You know me, and I want to thank you all for you know being there, being supportive, being uh, just being the awesome person that you are, and I mean that. And you know, same goes. And I just want to say that you know, I want to thank you all for being the awesome pe people that you are, for you know just subscribing to my channel, viewing my content, giving your opinions, even though not everybody's opinions are are positive some of them are uh could are cri i've gotten some criticism i've gotten some uh negative comments but even to all the people who give me negative and comments and criticism i want to tell them i want to thank them just for taking the time out of their day to even 
view my content or even sharing their opinion even though they, their opinions may hurt my feelings sometimes I still am going to thank them just because they took the time out of their day and they and that they did that to what to view my video and for that even though I can point fingers or say it was their decision which would be politically which I would be politically correct but then again deep down I gotta thank them just for taking the time of their day to, to even view my content in the first place thank you so um, with all that being said have reaching had reaching over a little over 90 subscribers about 93 as of this point but um, it's just uh, been have reaching way like over 90 over 90 it's 93 but you know sometimes subscribers come and go so I don't know if it's gonna stay that way that's gonna there's been a fluctuation of numbers but either way this channel has slowly but surely reached reached uh, but it's actually reached it a lot faster than I expected I'm not gonna lie channel got to its destination a lot faster than I expected I'm just um, just want to take this video I know it's been over 20 it's been about nearly 22 minutes as of this point and I'm and I'm just I just feel like you know having a talk with you all and just giving my thoughts and opinion on things uh, you know just kind of reviewing this past year as a celebration of the of you know this uh, channel reaching its uh, goal you know beating the expectation mark in my opinion this is awesome and um I'm gonna give a shout out to a, a youtuber who goes by Optimus he does a lot of reviews on topics trending topics and news articles and all that he's very honest and blunt and but he makes very valid points in my opinion he's really good at articulating and explaining things and talking and just very He's got very good insight, and I feel like a lot, some, a lot of my inspiration comes from watching his videos too. You know, him the way he are he gives us insight. I take he inspires me to keep going with what I'm doing too. Listening to him talk, it's just really inspiring, and not to mention the donations on his channel is going to a really nice cause. He's really, um, really awesome. And even though you won't see his face, um, he, when you listen to him talk, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to make, he doesn't have to make an appearance like I do. He's, he's obviously just him talking alone and him giving his, just talking alone. He's able to get, you know, convey things very well just really awesome just really good at what he does and he's just Optimus is just uh, is just an awesome youtuber and I will be you know at, at the end of this uh, video I will be put there will be an end screen a nomination giving a link to his channel you can go check it out because this dude is a real good uh, talker and an articulator and just really gives good he gives you know his um, insight is just so uh, just so off the chain in my opinion and not to mention some of the 
some of the sarcastic remarks he makes towards videos he rants about, like the things he rants about, he'll make these little sarcastic remarks that just, just tickle me sometimes. It just makes me laugh. Like, <laughs> he's, he's just an overall awesome. It just go, just yeah, go go check out his channel. You'll see what I mean. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, it's been a good run, man, since 2019, so this, I mean, by 2022, this would mark three years, three years I've been doing this, uh, 90, 90 to 95% vlogging material, um, uh, most, over 95% of it is vlogging, that only, you might only see a few Let's Plays a month, like two or two let's plays a month on this channel most of it's just vlog me talking like this with let's play playing in the background as my green screen just by me giving talking giving my insight on things I didn't even think this channel would even reach the the goal that it is right now it just astonishes me I'm just so surprised uh, I mean, it just, it's just so cool, it's so awesome, and to know that there's people out there who actually watch my content, who actually, even, even when I made that video suggesting that I would disable comments, there have been a good number of you who have suggested don't disable comments, I, lo I, I mean, you, I love your insight. You've all said some very inspired. You also have said some kind and inspiring words, and you know it made it made me realize that no matter what, I should just keep the comment section open because have, closing the comment section down is not going to change the opinions of other people. If people have an opinion, they're going to have an opinion regardless. And by shutting off the comment section, all I'm doing is just it just by like me just closing myself in a box or covering my ears and I don't want to live the rest of my life closing myself off and that's what I was going to do I was just going to close myself off in denial and by disabling the comment section that's what you're doing you're just closing yourself off and I don't want to be that person who cowards like that because I feel I would feel like a coward for blocking the comment section I mean I could care less about it but that's not what I want I want to be able to see comments because I have a new found love for even the comments that are even comments that I find offensive that I find you know even if they're like comments that I'm not too fond of I'll still read them, and I'll still acknowledge them, and I I, I, I just uh, I approach it with a new perspective, a new approach. I kill it with kindness. Instead of lashing out like I used to at at um people who comment, I do it in a constructive and a more creative way. By not, <coughs> I do. I used to like on my other channel. I used to like. If somebody made a negative comment that I really didn't like, I would even go in as far as, you know, bashing on their channel, you know. I would go and make a rant about them and then bashing on them, you know, and roasting their channel. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to be, I'm going to kill with kindness and, and you know, do, it, do it more creatively by just talking about the subject like if somebody said for example well you know do 4786 you sound so retarded your your videos suck blah 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 if they said all that stuff and they said things that were just what I that just kind of hurt my feelings I'm not gonna call them out by their name because by calling them out by their YouTube username or their name all I'm doing I'm just I'm what I'm doing is giving them attention that I feel that they don't deserve and on top of that, I'm giving, yeah, I'm giving them clout, in other words. 
and I don't want to give people like that clout, people who say things that that offend me and hurt my feelings. But at the same time, I'm not going to, you know, that's another reason why I'm not going to bash them either, because I'm going to kill it with kindness. And instead, how do I address, how do I make a video about them without shouting them out? Well, I make a video talking about it like I do now. Like, I've had people call me fucktard, retard, fattard, um, stupid piece of shit. I've had people call me all, all sorts of nasty things. I've heard it all, man. I've read it all. And let me say, I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna say who these some of these you, these people are. I'm not gonna say who these uh, YouTube users are. But I will say that I didn't. I wasn't too fond of it, and that there. And that um, I kind of. And when I got and and I can understand where they're coming from because. I'm going to be quite honest with you, I'm not proud of what this either, but I used to, I use, I, I, I get, when I had a, I had a bad day a couple of weeks ago, and this person that I mentioned earlier in this video that I used to be friends with, I went, I went, kind of went kind of nuts and went bashing on him, his channel, because I was so, my feelings were so hurt at the fact that he end of the friendship and my I let my emotions cloud my judgment I went up I went out on his channel and called his material gay and stupid and I realized something that at that moment I realized I'm, I was no better than the people who hated on my channel that and I realized and I've learned something about my haters is that people hate on your channel because they're there because deep down they're people who are hurting inside just like I was there were people who were hurt deep down inside and they just wanted a place to you know express their emotions because people who hate on my channel who call me fucked hard deep down I don't think they truly genuinely mute they say not all of them some of them uh, they're just a number of them that don't really mean what they say they're just saying that because they're having a bad day and I had a bad day I think it was the first time I actually became the very the, I became one of those haters those people who did that because I had my emotions clogged my judgment I didn't really think about what I was doing um I didn't really bully my the person who I used to be friends with, I just went on this channel and I just wanted to undo all the likes that I had on this video. I just wanted to, like, I wanted to, I was so hurt by him unfriending me, I just wanted to break him down. I was trying to tear him down. And and I was letting my anger, let my, my anger cloud my judgment. I had an episode where I let my anger cloud my judgment and I'm so ashamed of myself for doing that and that's why from now on I don't hate on my haters anymore I sympathize with my haters I sympathize with you all I know you all call me a lot of mean names like fucktard and retard but I think the reason why you did that is because deep down sometimes I think you have I think I think you have something going on in your life that I believe that you're hurt and you're just and you're just feeling angry and I, and I think you don't genuinely mean what you say I think you're just hurt and you're just letting your anger cloud your judgment and I want to say to all my haters that it's okay I understand where you're coming from because I felt that I felt that pain I felt your pain I feel your pain I felt that way too I felt that way you did I had an episode and now I see why you do what you do because this whole experience has opened up my eyes and at the end of the day we're all just human we're all just trying to live our lives and do what's necessary to survive I forgive you my haters I forgive you for calling me the way things you call me 
I forgive you. Because I know, because whatever it is that's making you feel the way you feel, you have a problem in your life, you have something going on in your life that's making you unhappy. And I want to know that I'm always here, and that if you want to apologize, I accept your apology. If you feel too embarrassed to apologize, I understand. I still forgive you. But I'm going to keep doing what I do. Because I know you're going to hate on me. But that's okay. Like I said, I, I understand. I get it. Or you may not just like my content. But you know, either way. I'm here to do what I do. Here to talk about what I want to talk about. I have my moments too. I even forgive the person who unfriended me. Even though we've been friends for 17 months and he's helped my channel. I mean, I mean, how can you forgive others if you can't forgive yourself? Because to forgive others, you must learn to forgive yourself. Even though I may make videos talking about a topic that somebody brought up saying they hate me, you know what? I give my opinion, but it doesn't mean I hate you. It just means I hate your opinion. And doesn't mean I hate you. Just because I don't like you, your opinion doesn't mean I don't like you. For all I know, you could be hating on my channel, but you could. But in real life, you could be an awesome, wonderful person. But you may just not. There may you may not just like my videos, but you may be awesome in other ways. I don't know you in person. You don't. You never met me in person. I only let you see what I want you to see and hear what I want you to hear. What you see up here is what you see. You know that's not everything going on in my life. There is so much more to a person than than a person who records a video. You know, talking. I feel like I've become wise in so many other ways than I thought I ever would. I'm at peace now. I feel like I'm at peace. And... You know, I just feel like, you know, this, I'm going to continue to do what I do. <laughs> yes, I'll make rants about it. I mean, whoever is working at CenturyLink, I don't hate people who work at CenturyLink. I get it. Even though I've made rants about their the company, I don't hate the people. I don't hate them. I get mad at them. I get mad at the company, but I don't, but some people work there, and they're just working there because they need to make a buck or two. They need to make a living. I get it. But, like, whoever knows what they're doing and pulling the strings and keep, um, throttling the internet, it's like, I just want to let you know that it's not cool, man. Stop it, y'all. Just stop it. Like, You know what I'm saying? So that's all I gotta talk about, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace out and stay COVID free. Bye.